V B N the Rich Video Blog Network, home to weekly NFL predictions, great personality profiles, great professional wrestling video blogs, great sports video blogs, great MBTA video blogs, great top ten list of everything and anything video blogs, and tons, tons more. Collection my work goes back to June of 2014 on various social media websites, RVBN. The only video blog on the internet that matters. Time now is 6.56 in the evening, Bellwick, Massachusetts. It's Tuesday, July 4th, 2017 in Dalek, Massachusetts. It's 80 degrees and it's pretty, pretty good. This would be like a perfect 10 day. Clear, calm, and cool. Didn't feel cool with 80 degrees, but it was low humidity and that's good. Could be hot and steamy right now, but that's not going to happen. Well, at least a few days. Some news to report on the RVB and New Wire. Do, 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 do. There's been reports that the Boston Celtics are going to sign Gordon Haywood from the Utah Jazz. But wait, his agent says there's no phone call yet officially. We'll have to wait and see. Gordon Haywood's deciding which team to go to. The Utah Jazz, the Miami Heat, or the Boston Celtics. He should, he should choose the Boston Celtics, in my humble opinion. Utah Jazz, if he goes there, he's never going to see the NBA Finals because the Western Conference is getting stacked by the day. And the Miami Heat, they're kind of middling around 500. And they probably would, there's a bubble team at best. Also, the Sacramento Kings have signed. Um, Zach Randolph and George Hill to contract. So, Western Conference teams are loading up, loading up like crazy. There could be 11, 12 teams that are over 500, but only 8 qualify for the playoffs, unfortunately. And ESPN 900 and 1250, which are based out of Nashua, New Hampshire, and Manchester, New Hampshire, dropped ESPN Radio, and it switched to an oldie station. ESPN 900 is the flagship home of UMass Lower River Hawks, and hockey team, and men's basketball team, but no word yet if their contract's going to be renewed by ESPN 900 if they flip to an oldies format. If that happens, look for WCAP 980 and low to become the flagship station of the UMass Lowell River Hawks men's hockey team and men's basketball team. And sad news to report in the world of music, John Blackwell Jr., who was a drummer, famous for being a drummer for Prince, passed away at the young age of 43. That's so sad, passing away on a holiday. So prayers to his family in this time of need. And that's about it on news from the RVBN News. Why do, 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 do. Be back in a flash with my second and final video blog subject of the night, which will be about my take on scare tactics um, used in business and other forms. But first, hear this. Tomorrow on RVPN, the return of three video blogs for you. First video blog will be my personality profile. Tomorrow's personality profile will be about Saints quarterback Drew Brees. Second video blog of the day will be about Canopy Lake Park in Salem, New Hampshire. And the third and final video blog of the night will be about the former professional wrestling tag team, the U.S. Express, Mike Rotundo, and Barry Windham later on, Mike Rotundo, and Danny Spivey. And there's going to be lots of great video blogs coming in the days ahead, including one about how the Celtics fared with the free agency this year. It all hinges upon if they get Gordon Hay Haywood. It could be a successful or disappointing. Danny Ainge has to hit a home run in free agency. 
and also there'll be video blogs about Clark's Train Pole, Storyland, Santa's Village, The Whale's Tale, and so many others, and including one about the state of Maine. How your wooly has nice legs. I'm back. My third and final video, uh, my second and final video blog subject of the, of the day is about my take on scare tactics in business and other stuff. This is not a video blog about the reality TV show Scare Tactics that's on, that used to be on sci fi and that we run to the game show network, but that might be a future video blog. You never know what the future holds for this. Scare Tactics are kind of uh, business tactics to, you know, scare potential employees if there's, like, uh, some business dropping and they say we, they could be layoffs, they might scare you, but it's just maybe try to get morale up and other things. Sometimes scare tactics might threaten um, to take away stuff from you, but they're just sometimes trying to get everybody in line but sometimes scare tactics in business could be real scary and a threat and some people say it's harassment when they kind of scare you and sometimes the scare tactics used in negotiations for contracts with certain people and stuff um, they might scare you if they're gonna you know take away this from you or take away from that from you but they might try to get you the least money possible or other stuff but some people use scare tactics in order f to get something out of a person especially they do that when there's relationships they might scare you that that I I'm, I might leave you because there's somebody waiting in the wings to date me or this and that but sometimes when they use that scare tactic they they want something from that person usually they want to go into bed with them or they want to you get more money or they want to stay in the relationship so they're just scaring those things off to get, get you to agree to something or cave in which you might not want to cave in on anything you don't really want to do, but some people have to, f to take these scare tactics seriously and they eventually gave in. And there's a lot of scare tactics that are, you know, serious. Sometimes they might, uh, might be made up, but usually scare tactics are strategized and it's there to get people focused, to bring morale, or to want something. My opinion on scare tactics is it's very risky. It's also, you know, sometimes not appropriate to scare people out there because sometimes people take scare tactics seriously and it's 50-50 on that. I've never used scare tactics on anybody because it's not my type of style to scare people at all because if you do it could make a bad impression on you so scare tactics is a strategy that's good or bad and that's about it on my take on scare tactics i'll be back tomorrow facebook youtube twitter and google plus with three more video blogs for your entertainment like when i like i always say to end each and every video blog keep Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Bunny guy. Molly Wolf's blood. The WCCO accent has nice legs. Elizabeth Hutt's so, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome. Awesome, Amy. Then the Church of WPIX Channel of New York. Such rockin' cookies. Get best legs in New York City. Bar none. Bob Gibbs of ABC Love and Sweet Southern Accent. Best legs in Raleigh, North Carolina. Len Claire of WHH Channel 7 in Boston. Rocks has best legs in Boston. Nikki D. Ray of CBS 6 and well, in Oak, Virginia, rocks, and she says the second sweet, sweetest uh, southern accent in the United States, and of course has nice legs. And Lisa Bell of New Six Rocks, who got the fourth best legs in Orlando, Florida. And tonight, keep the fireworks to the professionals, and don't make them too loud if you make homemade fireworks, because that could scare the pets away. And the 4th of July is when it's the most common day that pets go missing. So please, let the professionals do the fireworks. Bye. See you tomorrow.